Hi guys, Jack here with another review, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Dark of the Moon Leader Class Sentinel Prime. Before we do, we will take a quick look at the packaging. Take that out of the lot of the light for a quick second. And quick look at the packaging. So here you can see you have Sentinel in his fire truck mode. Sentinel Prime. Oh. Of course, he's an Autobot, but if you've seen the movie, he probably is. Bio, which you can read. I'm not going to read it because I'm lazy and I'm old and I'm tired and I want to get this review shot and done so I can finish up on other Transformer reviews. Hey, come on. Anyway, can the rest of the bio up a little bit? Rotate back for a quick second. I'll tilt, tilt the camera up a little bit. Electronic lights and sounds, so of prime speech, automatic conversion sounds. Robot combat sounds and light up eyes. I'm trying to be very careful with my camera now, since it will go off a lot. But here is Sentinel in his robot mode on the back packaging. The way the mech tech works via his shield. And here he is in his fire truck mode on the back of the box. On the back of the box. Let's get back for quick sense. A bio on how the mech tech was first created. And of course his tech specs. Now we will toss this box and get on to the to the creator of the pillars himself. So here is Sentinel Prime in his Rosenbauer fire truck mode. And this is actually those kind of fire trucks that are real and are not real. Um his Rosenbauer fire truck mode is only available to um airports which means if planes catch on fire of some sort they can just pull out their hose and just poop that was a little kitty of me oh well I'm a little kid inside that little kid needs to come out anyway not like that kids <laughs> or people whatever anyway his main feature in this mode is absolutely um, nothing aside from being a uh, rescued fire truck but he has the little decals on here, the Rosenbauer R, Fire Rescue, 316, reminiscent of MGO 316's username, and an Autobot symbol, which, um, which should be crossed out. If you saw the movie, you know why. Nothing that much in the back. Just some red, just some yellow painted tail lights. Same thing on the other side. And of course, here is everything else in the front. So yeah, um, he does have a couple of gimmicks in this mode. Is that um, of course he has the fire hose action. Yeah. Um, he has a little light up and sound feature going on. If you press this red button right here, he will. He will make. Um, Fire truck sounds and on mine it's not a hair trigger. I can barely even touch it. Just let go. See, see look, I can like. If I touch it and if I don't touch it, it'll just go off. And some kids are screaming outside. Maybe they heard this. Nah, that would have been the first time. Anyway, um. What other gimmicks? Um, we're going to set off one last gimmick before we do the transformation. And that is we will do a quick comparison. Here he is compared to his Voyager scale sized model. As you can see, um, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Hasbro has really shrunken down some of their figures. As you can see, the leader sized figures are supposed to be like big, bulky, and beefy. He still kind of is that, only he's a robot inside this small little mode. And of course, this Senadol right here is a shell former because these things just just look. That's shell formality, if that's even a word. I'm making up words, just like Lady Gaga. Rah, 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 rah. Damn you, Chris. But anyway, we'll take him out of a quick second, and we will also compare him next to... Revenge of the Fallen Leader Class um, Optimus Prime. As you can see, the size and how Hasbro is doing this has really changed. Um, this should really be a um, opposite factor now, because 
Sentinel should be the big, beefy fire truck that he is, of course, in Optimus Prime size, and then Optimus Prime should be in scale with Sentinel here. Because in the movie, Sentinel was Optimus's, no, wait, Optimus was, no, wait, Sentinel, yeah, was Optimus's mentor, the guy that taught him how to kill, get his first chicken, cut the head off, and, um, I think, I don't know, if they even had chickens on Cybertron, meh, but anyway, the size factor should be, like, swapped out, this should be, like, big, small, but we'll, we'll see something like that in, um, the robot motor transformation. Now, before we get on to the transformation, which will be a part two, of course, one last gimmick for the before the video transformation is that you're going to want to. Oh yeah! And before I go on, I just want to say there were a lot of people complaining about getting this pegged in into the back because it would just flop out. It would just flop out like that all the time. Well, here's the thing. Hold on. I'll take this sword out for one quick second. Alright. You're going to thank me a lot, people, because... Well, you're going to thank me. Anyway, on inside this whole area right here are tabs. There's like a tab right here, and I think there's a... And I think this tab breaks in right here. You... And then if you... Look closely, or oh no. if you look just come on, if you look just right here, right in this area, the black area right here, there are grooves or tabs suited for these pegs right here. And I will show you how that works if I can. And I think you should also hear like this loud clicking sound that it does. One. Oh no. No 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 tab back in. No tab back in. Come on. Come on, we're in we're in the middle of a reveal. Oh well, I'm gonna transform it anyway. Somebody's happy. Anyway, we'll put this down for one quick second. Or away, and we will go on to uh, before the transformation. One more gimmick: the stealth mode factor. Anyway, you're going to come to the back, pop this up if you haven't already, and then you're going to come to the sides right here and unpeg them. Same thing on the other side. And. And then inside is, oops, and then inside is some um, little um, hoses or rockets right here that you will extend outwards. Same thing on the other side, as you can as you can see right here. And then right here on top of this part are these two little tabs or nubs back here, which will peg into small little areas in the back right here. And then, if you come to the, oops, I guess I already came up. Anyway, if you come to the shield right here, unpeg that and. If you use the, I guess, Mettech or Stealth for Spectre, you press the button right here, and when you do, it will. Yeah! Get a Mettech shield! Anyway, um, what's next is that if you. There are these two little pegs on top, on the back right here, and these two little holes right here. When you put. When you push them down, it will. Alright, put, right, put these down for one quick second. Oof, I'm sloppy today. Anyway, I'll hold all these down. Get this to pig in. 
And when you do, and here's the thing, when you get the shield pegged in, it will, there we go. It will make a sort of combining machinery sound, if you haven't heard so already. And then you take the sword, and then there are these two little tabs on top of the shield right here, and these two little nubs into the sword, which also have some great Cybertronian detailing on, on them, like so. I don't think my camera is picking, the, picking it up. But anyway, it's, it's a review. I can always do it in robot mode. No, I can take that back. I can do it in any review. If you're going to peg that in, then you're going to, I guess, fold the hose down, and bam! You've got his stealth mode gimmick, stealth force gimmick. Yeah, I'm rusty today. I'm thirsty, tired, hungry, bored, but hey, I like doing my reviews. So, yeah. Anyway, we are going to skip on to part two now. And that will be the basis of the transformation. So I hope you guys have enjoyed part one of the Transformers Dark of the Moon Leader Sentinel Optimus, not Leader Sentinel Optimus Prime, Transformers Dark of the Moon Leader Class Sentinel Prime review. And this is Blackjack2099 signing off. Take care, guys.